Mark Rogers TV with college football analysis for the smart fan and for the serious fan. Think back to growing up playing sports as a child, and then some of us played in high school. Many of us played in high school. And then think back to the best athlete in your high school or the best football player in your high school or even the best football player maybe within your conference or division. Uh, and, and then think of that particular player made it to Division One status. So for me, there was a particular guy, Lee Gissendainer, look him up, that uh, was a freshman when I was a senior. So I never played against him, but he was at the play- same high school and uh, didn't think too much of the kid, uh, didn't know about him until he went on to Northwestern. Then he played for the Houston Oilers. So this is pretty rare that you play with somebody or that you know of anyone in your hometown that made it all the way to the collegiate ranks or beyond. Then imagine at your high school that you have the best cornerback in the nation. Then imagine at your high school that you have the two best cornerbacks in the nation (laughs) at the same high school. The talent in Florida is ridiculous. We know that already. American Heritage High School, the home of number one quarterback, cornerback Patrick Sertain and his running mate at corner, Tyson Campbell, and ironically, neither one of them have committed or signed to play anywhere in particular in 2018. They're still part of the open enrollment for 2018. Tyson Campbell, the second-rated cornerback, according to all the major services, ninth-rated player overall on the ESPN 300 list. 247 Sports has him rated as the 12th best player. The composite has him rated as the 11th best player regardless of position. He had visits this month to Alabama and Georgia, Georgia on the 12th and Alabama on the 19th of January. Upcoming visit this weekend, or actually it's going to be next weekend, to the University of Miami on February 2nd. He's got 44740 time 63181. 22 offers for Tyson Campbell. He has intercepted six passes in his high school career, and I would have said that it's probably a foregone conclusion that he only has six interceptions because nobody throws the ball his way. But then on the other corner is Patrick Sertain. So I don't know where they throw the ball against uh, American Heritage High School. That's probably a reason that they've won 27 consecutive games in winning two consecutive state championships. Tyson Campbell performed so well at the U.S. Army All-American game that he rose from 24th on the list of the 247 list to number 12 in the final rankings after a very impressive showing. He is just one of three five-star cornerbacks with Patrick Sertain and Texas signee Jalen Green. The 247 prediction has Tyson Campbell going 68 percent of the vote went to Georgia, 29 percent to Miami, and just three percent to Alabama. Where will Tyson Campbell wind up? What are your thoughts on his play, his potential, and where he will land right here on Mark Rogers TV?